Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, your Old Nerd of the day and I do try things so you don't have to. Today uh, I'm going to be taking a look at a product that I found over at Walmart. This is a great value teriyaki tuna bowl with white rice. Yeah! For those of you who wanted to see Avery again, there she is. There's a baby. Aw, just being a good girl, just like usual. What a life. It's a dog's life, huh? Huh, baby? Put on the old guy goggles for this. I found this on the dry shelf. So it's not frozen or anything. It's just on the shelf with all the other products. It says, meal or snack on the go, ready in one minute. Great for any occasion, for kids and moms, camping, at the gym, sports nutrition, whatever. So you've got two containers here. Oh, hello. Oh, that's cute. There's a little baby spork that it comes with. That's cool. So you've got two containers. You've got the container of white rice and you've got the container of the teriyaki tuna. Okay, so how I prepare this is I put both of the containers in the microwave. Um, I take the lid, peel the lid back about a third of the way, and uh, I put them in side by side, and I heat them for one minute. I remove both of the bowls, and then I pour the tuna over the rice and stir. Pull that one back a little bit. I like that they have these little easy pull things so you don't have to try and get a hold of it. There we go. So, yeah, that should work right there. Let's go into the kitchen, shove these in the microwave, and see what comes out. All right. Take this one, put that there. Take this one. Put that there, close the door, one, we'll do 103, <laughs> why, I don't know, start, and there they go, they're out of the microwave, and they're hot, and I think rather than a regular fork, just to see how it works, if I can get it open, I'm going to use the little baby fork. There we go. That's, what? That's really odd. Look how small that is. Look how small the handle is. Oh, okay, no, never mind, never mind. Check it out. It flips. Oh, cool, okay. First of all, I was a little flabbergasted at <laughs> what they expected me to eat with, and now I'm kind of impressed. It just flips over. That's pretty cool. Save a little bit of space. All right, so rice, tuna, let's open the rice up. I love Asian-inspired type stuff. I love rice, white rice, I love tuna, I love, um, what's the one I get a lot of? Jasmine rice, jasmine rice is really good. And then what I'll do is I'll cut up like sausage and then air fry it and put it over the, um, with, uh, put it over the, the rice and then, uh, put some sweet chili sauce on top of that. It makes for a wonderful, wonderful meal. So there's the tuna and the rice. And I'll go ahead. Yeah, that seems like it's done. Go ahead and dump the tuna over there. Wow, that's a lot of tuna. It's teriyaki, I love teriyaki, so. I just thought that I would really enjoy this. So, mix this up real good. Oh, hello. Well, we'll see how that works. Kind of, it didn't break, it just kind of snapped back. Yeah, this, I don't know if this is gonna work. So there it is, there's the final product right there. All right, it smells good. It smells like, doesn't smell like a teriyaki anything, but it does smell like a tuna in some kind of sauce. So, let's give it a shot. Put some on the spork. There it is. 
showing it off. Can you see it? Can you see it? Now you see it, now you don't. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. Oh wow. Let's do it again. Hmm. This is actually really good. You know, I'm always I'm always kind of cynical when it comes to great value because a lot of things are a hit and a lot of things are a miss. There's usually not a happy medium all along the way. So you never really know what you're going to get. Like the great value pizzas are absolutely wonderful. Probably the best frozen pizza I've ever had. Um, although Wild Mike's was really good. But that's... If you haven't seen those videos, check out the, the pizza playlist for those. But, mmm, this is nice. The rice is tender. It's not hard, so a minute was just perfect. Um, nice chunks of flaky tuna. And the teriyaki sauce is really good. It's, it doesn't have any heat to it, but it's just a nice, it's just a nice teriyaki sauce, um, kind of, kind of sauce that you'd probably find in your, your typical Chinese, Japanese restaurants. Got some saltiness to it and it has a lot of flavor. So this is impressive. I'm impressed. I'm anxious to try the other two. Now, now they have, I took pictures. They have two other varieties. Um, let me see here. They have a sweet chili tomato tuna bowl with white rice. And they also have a Mediterranean inspired tuna bowl with brown rice. So if you want to go even more healthy than this already is, um, you know, go for for the brown rice. I'm not a brown rice guy. Don't like it. But I, I love the white rice. I love, this would be good in, in jasmine rice, but I'm just happy with this. All right. As I said, picked it up over at Walmart. And the damage on this was $2.24. And that goes for the other two also. So not too bad because this is going to make a meal all by itself. With the, the rice and the tuna together, this will probably fill up a, a medium appetite, I would say. Okay, on the Nerdometer, I would give the great value teriyaki tuna bowl with white rice. Um, I would give this a best ever. There is nothing wrong with this. I think the price is fair. No odd aftertaste or anything whatsoever. It, it just tastes legit. It does not taste processed or manufactured. Um, and that's really nice. And of course, after I started eating, the spork didn't give me any more hassles. Physics is magic, kids. Yeah, so icing on top of the cake. And I mean, if you were to take something like this and put it out on a plate and put some like Chinese of those crispy Chinese noodles all over the top of it, and like maybe a spring roll or an egg roll and, and a fortune cookie, of course. You have a, a nice Asian meal here or Asian inspired or something. I will have to try the other ones. I definitely would recommend this. So if you have a Walmart close to you, grab them off the shelf. And then if you do, I want to know which ones you had and what you thought about it. Leave that down in the comments. There you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on my social networks, on the website. All those links are down below in the description. And if you do all that, you too can become a part of the coffee swilling. My coffee's in the bedroom. Teriyaki tuna and rice eating old nerd crony community. Okay, y'all. You guys have a freaking awesome day. I'll talk to you again. Bye now.